Good morning. If you have decided to study to become a professional hypnotherapist, keep watching our training videos on hypnosis. Hypnosis is a powerful technique with which you can help and improve the quality of life of a large number of your future patients. Remember, read the description of this video where you can find a link to free training classes on clinical hypnosis. And also, you can download several ebooks also free. Rapid hypnosis, counting technique and phases of rapid hypnosis. Counting technique, phases in rapid hypnosis. Counting technique. To deepen the trance state, we count down. To bring the subject out of the trance, we do an ascending count. Once in hypnosis, to give suggestion or post-hypnotic orders, we can use the count up or countdown, but it must be a short count. Once in hypnosis, a short upward count is recommended. Now I'm going to count from 1 to 3, and when I say 3, 1, 2, 3. Faces in fast hypnosis. Rapid or instant hypnosis consists of four different phases. Induction, hypnodial moment, deepening, exercise of deepening to achieve a deeper trance, use, reason for which we haven't used hypnosis to the subject, introduction of a therapy, hypnotic demonstration, exit or dehypnotization, exit from the hypnotic trance with an ascending count. During the development of a hypnotic session, the operator usually performs four well-differentiated processes according to the purpose of each one of them. These processes are induction, deepening, use and exit or dehypnotization. The induction process establishes the trance. The deepening process makes it more intense taking the subject through different degrees of depth, as required by the objective pursuit. Once this has been deepened and established, the hypnotist uses the appropriate technique and suggestion to achieve the results. The reason for the hypnosis session and finally, the hypnotist enters the exit process or the hypnotization to get the subject out of the hypnotic state. Whatever the method used, the final objective of the hypnotic induction is to provoke the hypnoid state. Just at that moment, the induction process ends and the process of deepening and stabilization of the trance begins. In this way, we could say that the inductive process, whatever its development, is aimed at inhibiting the conscious aspects of the subject in order to reach his subconscious mind. This is why most inductive mechanics try to give an occupation to the subject's conscious, such as counting numbers, fixing the attention on a point or any other task. While the operator is sealing out his suggestions. The subject's consciousness is unable to focus its attention on two activities at the same time, and although he can switch its attention from one to other, only one of them can be the focus of his attention at one moment. The suggestions that bypass the subject's conscious attention are picked up by the subconscious where they remain without being critically evaluated. This process, together with the progressive quieting of the subject's mind, makes the conscious mind exercise less and less critical control over the information, reaching the unconscious. Finally, there is an instance of fragmentation of the mental unit. The conscious is unable to filter all the information 
and dissociation between the two is manifested. This is the precise moment when a successful suggestion by the hypnotist opens a breach in the unconscious, giving it control of the will of the person who is the object of the hypnotic induction. As we said before, things have only just begun at this point, and all the operator's efforts must now be focused on widening this channel of communication with the subject's unconscious through the use of deepening systems. Thus, all the induction routines only aim to create, by different methods, that moment of dissociation, that instant of rapture, of the conscious vigilance of the subject, that leaves free access to the unconscious. In this type of hypnosis, quick or instant hypnosis, we dispense totally of the preparatory phase, relaxation to prepare the patient to the chain of descent, that is to say, to the hypnosis. In order for the subject to enter trance, we look for a gratification. We insert a hypnotic key associated to a gratification. Example, to be more powerful, more sexual potency, to be above the others. If you're interested in learning more about clinical hypnosis, please watch our next video, Instant Hypnosis, the law of reverse effort. Remember, read the description of this video where you can find a link to free training classes on clinical hypnosis. And also, you will be able to download several free ebooks. If you have questions, add them in the comments area. On this topic and many others we'll talk about in the channel and in the videos that we'll publish. So if you're interested, don't miss our next videos. Thank you very much.